Hello math people. This video is a quick review on the types of angle pairs that we have been studying in class. So the first type are adjacent angles. Right here, adjacent. The thing about adjacent is that they have a common sign. So when I, for example, trace an angle with my finger or with my pencil, so here's one angle right here. And then if I trace the second angle and I go over the side twice, so right here, you'll notice got drawn on twice. That is the common side. So the two angles are next to each other. So here's the first angle and here's the second angle and they share this common side and this common vertex. When you see that those angles are adjacent. Okay, moving on. The second one we did was a linear pair. And I believe we also talked about, so I will do this at the same time, that a linear pair was also supplemental. Okay, the characteristics that you need to look for is that they are adjacent angles and not the shared side, but the other two rays create a line. So what that means is, is that right here is the shared side, but this, the top angle or the left angle, the second ray goes this way. And then kind of the bottom angle or the left ang right angle, the second ray goes this way, but you'll notice together they make a straight line. Same thing here. This is the shared side of the linear pair, but the other ray, one goes this way and one goes this way, but together they make a straight line. And this, it doesn't matter which way you go, it could, the line could be on the bottom the straight line could be on the top. It could be a crazy vertical like this. These are all linear pairs. One angle, two angles, straight line. One angle, two angles, straight line. And the biggest thing you need to know about linear pairs or supplemental is that they add up to 180 degrees. This will be helpful when we start setting up the equations. So that's what linear pairs or supplemental angles look like. All right, next one. Okay, vertical angles. Vertical angles do not share a side. Vertical angles are opposite of each other. What this means is, is that two lines will intersect, okay, and then the angles that are opposite of each other are like that, okay? So they are across from each other and they have a common vertex in between. So almost kind of like a bow tie, if that makes sense. So on the drawing that's already there, four and two are vertical. They are across from each other. Also, one and three are across from each other. So the way that that could be written if you were ever asked to write it, is that angle one and angle three are vertical, and angle two and angle four are vertical. We just talked about this a little bit, but the thing you need to know about vertical angles is that they are equal to each other. So if one is 100, then three is 100. If four is 80, then two is 80. Just that'll help us in the future. Okay. Complementary angles. Complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. They are half of supplementary. They are the smaller one of 90 degrees. You will know that they're complementary if you see two angles and they give you 
this box, okay, that box means 90 degrees. That is your easiest clue. Other than that, you're going to need to do a little addition. So if they only give you numbers, well, 70 plus 20 equals 90, 45 plus 45, sorry about my fives guys, equal 90, 80 plus 10 equals 90, and 53 plus 37 equals 90. So all of these are different pictures of a pair of complementary angles. And you'll notice it can be complementary with a shared side and without a shared side. So they don't have to be adjacent. They usually are though. All right, moving on. So what I want to do now is, um, here's where you're gonna pause and you're gonna answer some questions in the video. So looking at this picture, what type of angles are there? Choose one from the multiple choice, click submit, and then click continue. Next, we're gonna look at this picture right here. We have angle one and angle two. What you wanna do is a multiple choice question will come up. Click what type of angles you think they are. Click submit and then click continue. Next one. So for this one right here, we are focusing on angle A and angle B. What type of angle pair is this? And lastly, we're looking at these two angles right here. This angle and this angle. What type of angle pair are you looking at right now? After that, this video should be done and you should see your grade. If you don't like it, you can email me and I can always let you try it again. Hopefully this makes sense and use this to help you do the second part of the assignment. All right, guys. Good luck.